Hello and welcome to the channel everybody. I'm Jason Storm and in the last video I did some benchmarking of the Radeon RX 580 in my simulator PC, my racing PC of base 1080p but then also triple screen and VR which is mostly what I use and in those results we found that the RX 580 was a little stretched thin when it comes to triple screen and VR gaming so I replaced it with the AMD 5700 and in this video I want to do how much more performance do you get going from a 580 to a 5700 now this particular 5700 here is an MSI Mac not the uh, best version of a 5700 according to many YouTubers but I'll get into why I went this card maybe in another video maybe I don't know I might not I've got so many videos in the pipeline at the moment um, I'm going to do all the exact same benchmarks I did with the RX 580 and then run them again with the RX 5700 just to see how much improvement we actually got for what effectively is pretty much double the cost at least in my country Australia I think RX 580s go for about just under $300 here and these are just under about $600 so nearly double the price but do you get double the performance? let's find out okay so here we are loading up the heaven benchmark once again this time we, we're doing 1080p just as a bit of a reference for those 1080p gamers out there now of course the 580 did pretty well here with an average of 85 frames per second uh, but of course the 5700 was much better with an average of 152 frames per second but similar minimums but a max of 270 frames per second on the 5700 but changing that to triple screens however we get much different results which shows just how hard triple screens are on a GPU compared to a single screen the RX 580 is struggling a little bit on triple screen ultra settings with 2 times AA with just 30 frames per second with the 5700 doing just under 60 frames per second and going over to superposition to do some VR benchmarks here in VR maximum the RX 580 was an average of 51 frames per second and the 5700 practically nearly doubling that at 96.8 average frames per second which in my opinion is quite critical considering most VR headsets you're running at around 90 Hertz so you want that 90 frames per second average and the 5700 can do that unfortunately the 580 just can't playable kinda yes but not recommended now switching over to Assetto Corsa Competizione on triple screens which is mostly the reason why I wanted to upgrade to the 5700 because the 580 was that bad at this game the 580 only did 22.7 average frames per second with a maximum of 26 whereas the 5700 did 47.5-ish average frames per second with a maximum of 58 and then switching over to VR again mostly on medium settings the 580 did an average of 23.708 frames per second with a maximum of 30 and the 5700 did 44.9 with a maximum of 47 frames per second and then changing over to Project Cars 2 which is a little less load on the GPU the 580 did an average of 51.8 frames per second with a maximum of 65 and the 5700 did an average of 110-ish frames per second and a maximum of 138 then when we switch over to VR we get an average frame of 40 frames per second on the 580 and a maximum of 41 and on the 5700 an average of 80 and a maximum of 81 
Switching over to F1 2019 on the built-in benchmarking platform here on ultra high with the triple screens, the RX 580 wasn't doing well on ultra high settings with just 26 average frames per second on a maximum of 30, whereas the 5700 was doing 62 average frames per second with a maximum of 73. Dropping those ultra high settings down to high, all of a sudden the 580 goes up to 46 average frames per second with a maximum of 55, and the 5700 gets an average of 122 and a maximum of 148. And just for fun, I decided to overclock the 5700 in this tile, just with the auto overclock, and it got 138 average frames per second, and a maximum of 152. And for those wondering, this test was done on a Ryzen 2600 on a MSI X370 Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard, and with 16 gigs of HyperX RAM running at 2400 MHz. So, there you have it everybody. The RX 580 is gone, is done. The 5700 is going to be taking its place. Of course, if you wanted to spend an extra 100 Australian dollars, I don't know what it is in your country, but 100 Australian dollars, you could get the 5700 XT, and that's probably going to give you another 10 frames a second, probably, roundabout, depending on what you're doing. I was very, very close to it. And, you know, maybe I should have gone the XT, but for now, this will do. So, thanks for watching this video, everybody. Hit that like button if you liked it, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you in the next video.